from the day your ghost woke you, your light has been our beacon. You defended this city from the worst the darkness sent against us. Atheon, Crota, Oryx, Axis. When you are called on, you will do it again. The city's children tell your story to each other. Pretending to be guardians, they grow braver and more powerful with each retelling. They are no longer afraid. You have shown them and you have shown me what it is to hope. You have led us to a new age, Guardian. An age of triumph and remembrance. Today and tomorrow and every day, you fight for us. You fight for the traveler. You fight for those who fled here from a thousand nations looking for refuge. We thank you, Guardian. And we will never forget. Hey, what's up, guys? So the live stream happened today and uh it was it was, it was actually surprisingly um good i uh i didn't expect for as much good news uh yeah i don't know i i was just expecting it to be sort of like mediocre and they were just going to cover the book and like a little bit of, you know, like some, some smaller details and that's it. But they, um, they talked about the raids and, the, and, and, and confirmed some things and let us know what, what the overall deal with all that was. And it really looks like this, is, this update is going to be able to keep us busy. Um, like, like, like as long as you don't play, you know, Destiny literally 24-7. This, this this update should keep you busy for for a couple months actually um, and with me I have other games that I plan on playing as well so I can definitely see this being being a really good update for me uh, so stream happened today the following stream is a week from now so on the 15th of March and then the following stream after that is on the 22nd and then the following Tuesday the 28th is when the update will be releasing now i'm gonna start off by talking about the record book um i could go into like detail detail but i'm not the record book does have 13 pages as everyone thought um and overall you have you know like you have that page or like that part of it where once you get uh sorry once you get certain levels of completion they give you rewards a lot of the rewards um in it are just um, emblems, uh, and a lot of the emblems look pretty dope. A lot of them are just emblems, though, which to me is a little bit disappointing. But I don't know. It seems like overall the the record book this time around is sort of a background, like long term goal thing, rather than um, you completing it to get the loot that you actually want, like you did in um, Rise of Iron. Because in Rise of Iron, there's a lot of stuff you pointed at in the book and were like, oh, I gotta grind the book out so I can get that. Or so I can get this. Or, you know. But for this, it's like, that's just like background rewards as you play the game or as you do these accomplishments and stuff. And you just have that in the background to just reward you as you go and just continue playing the game. Um, but yeah, overall, it just seems like there's a lot of emblems that are gonna be popping up in the book. Uh, but the big thing is the raids. Um, the stream revealed a lot more than I was expecting. And um, all three of um, the previous raids are making a comeback. I'm not sure about um, Prison of Elders, actually. I'm not sure. But it may. Um, there's still things that they haven't talked fully about. But um, all the raids are coming back. They're going to be at 390 light. They're going to be dropping gear up to 400. Um, and they're going to have new light level, I mean, new high light level gear in terms of like armor, not necessarily weapons. That's something that I don't think we're going to be getting. I don't think we're going to be getting any new weapons. We're going to be getting the old weapons re, re, re leveled and brought up to year three standards, which I think is fine because a lot of those, like, I couldn't ask for more. 
I, I, I would like to have those weapons back. Um, and they're giving us new armor. Um, I'm not sure how they're going to do it. I'm not sure if it's going to be like, because they're also going to give us ornaments. So, like, the armor can be affected by ornaments. So, what I'm guessing is, if I had to go out on a limb, it's going to be the old raid sets, right? But they're going to have two different ornament slots. So, um, oh, and apparently they're adding another ornament slot to Wrath of Iron Gear as well, I think. They're adding another slot. So, there's new ornaments for those as well to get. And, um... Yeah, so it looks like you know you could so like you can get the full base Volta glass armor, and then if you put ornaments on it, it looks completely different. Um, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. So and you know like it's in turn they're giving us like a bunch of different sets to chase and stuff. Um, and they're also giving giving like they're they're, they're putting in the loot table um, items that weren't available um, for that raid at the time or something. So like for instance. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, why am I yawning? It's only eight o'clock. Whatever. Um. So, like for instance, they're throwing in um a Volta glass ghost. Back then, you didn't get ghosts. There weren't any other ghost shells that you can wear other than the base one and the one you got for getting the special edition of the game. So, yeah, they're they're making a Volta glass ghost, a Crota ghost. Um, they're giving us. They're also making um a Wrath of Iron Sparrow and anything else that might have been covered. So that might mean we might also get a Volta Glass sidearm or something, you know, or or maybe even a sword, you know, because they're because they said they want to cover bases that weren't covered before, in terms of the loot tables. But um, that's just me speculating. They didn't really give us too much of a hint towards those things. Uh, what else? What do I have here written down? Um, all the old raids are getting challenge modes, so that's pretty fucking awesome. Apparently, the Atheon challenge mode is going to be the hardest challenge mode in, or just the like like the hardest encounter in the game's history like they said um so we'll see about that <laughs> um and they're also doing do you remember what um I, I think i'll put the screenshot up here but you know the the weekly activities they, they've added some slots or whatever and like revitalized the slots or something and they added a weekly featured raid and the weekly feature raid is going to be on rotation and um, the first one up is going to be Crota, and the reason being that they chose Crota for the first one when we start the when we um, start the update on the 28th is that they're really excited to for players to play it because they apparently they like cleaned it up. So I'm assuming they got rid of a lot of the cheeses and may have made the encounters a little bit harder, but overall they just got rid of the cheeses. Um, another thing is they they've also changed um Volta Glass. I'm not sure if they made any changes to um. Wrath of the Machine or the Taken King, um, but the changes that they've made to Crota and these other old raids, they they said that they didn't do things like, for instance, like you're not gonna see Taken in the Vault of Glass. You're not gonna see Siva Fide Vex in the Vault of Glass. No. Well, um, it would be cool though if you saw Taken in um, Crota, but they probably not gonna do that either. What they've done is they've just made like small tweaks. So like for instance. The um, in um, just like the oracle section of the Vault of Glass before you fight the Templar, that section lasts really long. So they said that they shortened it, and they, I think they also said that they shortened the um, the time when um, the time between rounds when you're getting like hoarded by all the enemies, they like shortened it. They said that they also got rid of some like cheesy spots that people would like hide in in these raids. So, um, yeah, to, you know, to force us to fight. Um, so it'll be pretty interesting to, to go back in and see stuff. Um, they also have pages from the book that are, that are des like, they have a page designated to raids. And I saw one um, challenge, mo I mean, one challenge on, in the book that I remember is um, you got to kill all the, all the Gorgons in the Vault of Glass raid. So that's pretty interesting. I, um, of course, they're going to have to lower, the, lower, the, lower their health because... At this point in time, you still couldn't kill like I think I think you still can't kill more than three. You definitely can't kill more than four. I'm pretty sure in the Vault of Glass if you were to do it at the light level now, have full maxed out guardians. You know, so like they're gonna have to change their health pools. But yeah, that's like one of the things. Another thing that they um, that they said that they thought about changing in the Vault of Glass was the jump puzzle and how you could just skip past it. They decided to um, 
Like they changed that so that way you couldn't do that, but they brought it back. So in the development, because they didn't really want to change the rates too much, they wanted it to stay the same. But you know, they want to make little small tweaks here and there, and um, that was one of the things. So I I'm glad that's still in there because I, I, I don't think I've ever did that jump puzzle legitimately. I think maybe like once or twice. I typically just jump over the whole thing, which is which I always felt was a legitimate way of doing it because that like that wasn't super easy. Um, but yeah. Um, that's pretty much it, guys. There's not much else to be said. Um, I'll cover the next stream and the following one, and I'll be releasing content. Hopefully some, like, raid runs with me and my friends once the update drops and stuff. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys later. Peace. This video was longer than I thought it would be. <laughs> All right. See ya.